Today I'm going to be teaching an amazing abdominal massage that you can add into your practice. Hi, I'm Christopher Brenner with the Muscle Doc Method. And today I'm going to be working on the abdomen and doing an ab abdominal massage. Now one thing that I can say about working on people's abdomen is that um, I do revere this as being a sacred space to work on. Um, you're going to be working on all the internal organs, the reproductive organs, you know, your liver, your spleen, and a lot of emotional trauma also gets stored into the ab uh, abdomen. And this isn't an area that often gets, um, you know, worked on and addressed. So, um, do keep that in mind when you're beginning to implement this into your practice. So, first we put some oil on the tissue and we just start real light and gently just rotating around the abdomen, moving in a nice circular motion. And we're allowing our client to just begin to relax and feel that she can invite, um, you know, an abdominal treatment, you know, into her space. Because uh, it's an area that's very protective. So we have to move through layers to get to where we want to go. Just kind of moving around in circular motions. And then what I'm going to do is put one hand we're in the upper portion above the umbilicus and placing this other hand on top. We're just going to go through like a wave motion. Pushing with my palms, pulling with the tips of my fingers. Pushing with my palm, nice and easy. Take that around here. I'm going to come down below the reproductive organs. We're going to do that same technique. Pushing with the palm, pulling with the tip pads of the fingers, and moving in a wave back and forth. And for this, I also typically start to close my eyes to really get in tuned with what's going on in her space. And start moving through this tissue now just a little bit deeper. Going through circular motions. Now come to this portion of her low back, lateral portion of the back, lateral portion of her abdomen. Move this around through the area. Now I'm going to come underneath the rib cage here. We're going to get a little bit of deeper pressure underneath that rib. I'm using the pads of my fingers right here just to apply firm pressure underneath. And then I'm going to come over to the, the other side, flushing this down. I'm moving through in the direction of the descending colon and then getting into this lower abdomen. And when working on this lower abdomen, it's important to know where the top of the pubic bone is you do not work below the pubic bone. 
that is the boundary that you stay within. So right here I can feel the top of her pubic bone and we're going to stay in this region right here. But it is important that we're working on massaging the reproductive organs as well while we're in this area. Underneath. And now I'm starting firm pressure down along this descending portion, getting in over the reproductive organs, starting to see if I can feel any type of stagnation going on in this area. One of those things, if I find an area, I'll pause for a moment, just investigate, see what I'm feeling in the area, maybe apply firmer pressure, maybe not. Right here I find, you know, just an area that feels a little stuck, so just kind of working it in, maybe adding in some circular motions. Right here, finding an area too that I'm now going to sink down. And I'm going to instruct her to take a nice big inhale and exhale. And oftentimes when working in these areas too, when you find heavy stagnation in here and you start working on that, it's not uncommon for them to have a pretty strong emotional release. Sometimes it could present as tears and crying. Uh, sometimes it can present, you know, later as irritability and frustration. Um, it really can present in a lot of ways. Laughter, you know, uncontrollable laughter could be a sign of just emotional release. Now moving below the umbilicus here, you know, investigating how things feel, applying a little bit of firm pressure. Find another spot right here. Downward pressure and hold. And this can be, this um, adding abdominal massage can be really effective for anybody that is having constipation problems could be having uh, menstrual issues. Um, you know, it's definitely one of those uh, treatments that can be highly effective for some of those conditions. Moving up in here. Now, a lot of that was really intense. I was just working on those areas. What do you think? How, how was it feeling in there? Intense in a couple yeah. of those spots, right? Yeah. So now we want to come back up to the surface and give that a little break. Allow her to relax. She knows what to expect now a little bit more. And um, just give her a chance to reset because when working on the abdomen, um, you do want them to get to a place to where they can let go of some shit that they may be holding on to, you know? It's not always the case and it's not always the goal, but I think no matter what, <laughs> they, they, they tend to have a sense of overall relief after working on the abdomen. Moving underneath this rib. Get 
Again, we're just feeling a lot of the tissue here along the area, coming along the ribs. And one side note, make sure that uh, your client uh, uh, went to the bathroom before coming in because, uh, you know, when you're working over like the urinary bladder or something like that, and if their bladder's full, they may be like, hey, I can't get off the table, I gotta go to the bathroom. So, something to, uh, you know, check up on. So, kind of working through this. Now I'm going another layer deeper. Revisiting some of the areas that, uh, you know, I felt tension. And holding, making sure my body's relaxed and I'm not pushing too much energy into this space. Yeah, and this could be, you know, I'd use this technique on somebody, maybe they have endometriosis, um, you know, things of that nature. I definitely feel more, more stuff going on on this right side right here. All right, a little ticklish <laughs> right there, all right. Yeah, sometimes that was actually the liver channel, so I'm happy to get her uh, smiling on the liver channel there, so. Yeah, but definitely on this left side here. And normally I would uh, maneuver around to the other end of the table and start working on this uh, right side, but just due to demonstration purposes, um, I think this is a clear angle. But um, yeah, we're definitely finding quite a bit of stagnation right in there. So a couple of other things that are real nice to add to this, uh, you can do some hot stone therapy into this. Um, typically after working on the abdomen, I'll put a, a heating pad over the area and it just feels really nice. It's very supplementing and restorative um, and I uh, think balancing, especially after you, um, you know, you're getting some stuff moving here in the um, organ system. In this case, we're following this liver channel up here. I'm going to move along this a little bit more. Yeah, and I would probably add in some liver points in here, maybe get into that GB, you know, that liver, you know, 13 area right there. Get some of this moving. Maybe hit uh, liver three, you know, San Jiao five or uh, LI four GB thirty four San Jiao five. If you're adding acupuncture into the uh, treatment, I think would be some effective, you know, distal points here as well as local points. Sounds are good. Sounds are good. Just one more pass here through this lever channel underneath here. 
Yeah, and I'd say maybe this liver channel is pretty stagnant. You can use a little bit of uh, movement. Now go back up to the surface. I'll move more centrally around this uh, umbilicus here. I'm starting to unwind uh, the treatment. I'm actually starting to um, slowly uh, remove and end the treatment. And then I'll stop and pause here. Take a couple of breaths myself. I feel like I'm very aligned with her right now. Uh, pretty strong energetic cord and connection with her before you know I just abruptly break that off. It's good to take a um, just a pause, recenter both of our energies, and then release. So if you enjoy this video and want to show support for this channel, the best way to do that is hit the like and subscribe buttons. Check out my course links in the description, and I'll see you in the next episode.